God is saying to you today, Dear Beloved, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I am writing this message to address the topic of bad dreams, their effects, and how to avoid and overcome them. It is my prayer that this message will provide comfort and guidance as you navigate through the challenges of life. Bad dreams can often leave us feeling disturbed, anxious, and unsettled. They have the potential to affect our waking hours, causing fear and even impacting our faith. However, I want to remind you that you are not alone in this struggle. The Word of God assures us that God is always with us, even in our darkest moments. In the book of Psalms, David writes, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56 verse 3 This verse reminds us that our trust in God can help us overcome fear, including the fear triggered by bad dreams. Instead of dwelling on the negative impact of these dreams, let us focus on the power of God's presence in our lives. It is important to remember that dreams, including bad dreams, are a natural part of human existence. The Bible itself contains numerous accounts of dreams, some of which were filled with symbolism and even foretelling future events. However, it is essential to discern the origin and meaning of our dreams. Not all dreams are from God, and some may be influenced by our own thoughts, fears, or external factors. To avoid and overcome bad dreams, we must actively engage in spiritual practices and seek God's guidance. Regularly studying and meditating on His Word can provide us with wisdom, peace, and discernment. In Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, we are encouraged to Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. By submitting to God and seeking His will, we can find solace and clarity in our dreams. Prayer is another powerful tool in our journey of overcoming bad dreams. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, we are reminded, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Through prayer, we can surrender our fears and anxieties to God, allowing His peace to guard our hearts and minds, even in the midst of troubling dreams. Finally, it is crucial to affirm the grace of God in our lives. Psalm 103 verse 8 says, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. God's grace is a gift that we cannot earn or deserve. It is His unmerited favor that sustains us through every trial including the effects of bad dreams. By affirming and embracing His grace, we can find strength and courage to face any challenge. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, I encourage you to share this message with others who may be struggling with bad dreams. Let us be a source of love, support, and encouragement to one another. Together, let us remind ourselves and those around us of the abounding grace of God in our lives. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 7. Amen. Let us pray against bad dreams. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a humble heart, seeking your divine intervention and guidance in overcoming bad dreams. Lord, you are the God of peace and comfort, and I trust in your infinite wisdom and power to bring healing and deliverance in my life. As I delve into the depths of your word, I find solace in the promises you have given us. In Psalm 91 verse 5, you assure us that we need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Lord, I claim this promise over my life and ask that you would shield me from the torment of bad dreams. Help me to remember that you are my refuge and fortress, and that I can find rest and security in you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke any negative and fear-inducing dreams that may come against me. Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds me that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil. Therefore, I put on the full armor of God, standing firm in the truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation that you have provided for me. With this armor, I am equipped to resist and overcome any attacks on my mind during the night. Lord, I ask for your divine protection over my mind as I sleep. Psalm 4 verse 8 declares that you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. I pray that you would send your angels to guard my thoughts and dreams, ensuring that only thoughts of peace, love, 
and joy linger in my subconscious. Father, I understand that dreams can be influenced by my own thoughts, fears, and experiences. I ask for your guidance and discernment to help me understand the meaning and significance of my dreams. Grant me wisdom to discern whether they are from you, my loving Father, or from other sources. May I be sensitive to your voice and leading, interpreting my dreams in alignment with your word and will for my life. When I am plagued by bad dreams, I will turn to you, O Lord, in prayer and supplication. Philippians 4 verse 6 reminds me to be anxious for nothing, but in everything, through prayer and thanksgiving, to make my requests known to you. I bring my fears, anxieties, and troubling dreams before your throne, trusting that you will replace them with your peace that surpasses all understanding. I affirm the grace of God in my life, knowing that your grace is sufficient for me. In my weakness, your strength is made perfect. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 I thank you, Lord, for the unmerited favor and love you pour out upon me. Your grace enables me to overcome every fear and every dark dream that seeks to rob me of peace and joy. Lord, I pray that you would use my experiences and victories over bad dreams to minister to others who may be struggling in the same way. Open doors for me to share this message of hope and encouragement, so that together, we may affirm your grace in our lives and bring glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.